Conservative Party's deputy chair for women has been accused of making transphobic remarks about one of her election rivals. So what she did, Rachel McLean, she shared a post on Twitter that described transgender person Melissa Poulton as a man who wears a wigs and calls himself a proud lesbian. This is Bromsgrove's Green Party candidate, Melissa Poulton's response. Without a show of a doubt, it is a trans transphobic comment. It's dog whistling. Um, at the finest, you know, it's, it's, it's gaslighting, it's everything. By attacking a minority um, minority group, it's just, yeah, you know, it's just, it's a sh Well, in response to this, Rachel McLean said everyone in the UK should be free to live their lives and fulfil their potential regardless of their sex, sexual orientation or gender identity and to have the confidence and the freedom to be themselves. And then over the weekend on Twitter, she said, as deputy chairperson for women, I'm clear that the law allows me to say what a woman is and the difference between a woman and a trans woman. Both deserve respect and freedom to live their lives, but it is not transphobic to say they are not the same thing. Well said her. Yes. Joining us now is human rights campaigner and director of the Peter Taschel Foundation. Peter Taschel, good morning to you. Thanks for talking to us, to us this morning. Is Rachel McLean right then in what she says here, Peter? Well, first, let's just begin how this row began because Melissa Poulton, the Green Party candidate in Bromsgrove, a rival, an election rival of Rachel McLean, she supported the 50 50 parliament campaign which is seeking to get more women into Parliament. So Melissa was actually trying to support women's rights and get more women MPs, which is a very honourable thing to do. That's how this whole row kicked off. And I'm really disappointed that having stood up for women's rights, uh, Rachel McLean saw fit to attack Melissa. That's not, that's not a good thing, not a good look at all. But we need to, as she says, respect everybody, regardless of sexual orientation, sex or gender identity. Peter, how did she attack her? Well, I think she said a remark that um, she said, um, I just quote, um, that people in her constituency knew that um, Melissa was a man wearing, uh, well, w wears a wig and calls himself a proud lesbian. I think that's what she said. But what's, now, why is that attacking her? Why is that attacking him? He is a man wearing a, w a wig. Well, it is misgendering. Um, you know, it is not fair, it's not decent, it's not right to go out of your way to, you know, misgender someone and to attack their identity. Of course, Rachel McLean is entitled to her point of view. That's absolutely right. But I think, you know, to, to respond in that way to an appeal by a trans woman to support women's rights, that's completely wrong. You know, it's, it, it, you know this, is a, this was a good cause that Melissa Poulton was espousing, and Rachel McLean chose to move the dial away and attack Melissa personally. That's not that's not right. Is was Rachel not saying what a lot of people were thinking though? I mean, you've just kept um, saying calling Melissa she she she. I mean, we look at that video and it, she does look. They look like a man in a wig. Well, there is a big distinction to be made between. Right. biological sex and gender identity. They are two different things. A trans woman is not the same as other women. They're different. But that difference is perfectly valid and reasonable. So, you know, just because someone has a different gender identity, I don't think it's an excuse to basically mock and make fun of them. You know, let's focus on the issue that Melissa raised, which is getting more women into Parliament. That's what she raised. That's what she was fighting for, and it's wrong for her to be personally attacked because she took that honourable stand for women's rights. All right, well, that's Peter Tatchell. Uh, Peter, thanks for joining us. That's Peter Tatchell of the Human Rights Camera. We've got in the studio with us um, Emma Wolfe again and Matthew Lazar. I defend the right of this Tory deputy chairwoman to say this is a, a man in a wig. Now, she, he, Matt, she, Melissa may identify herself as a trans woman, but she's still a bloke. 
I think that um, the, the, the Rachel's original the, the, the tweet was a little provocative, um, um, and, and therefore maybe a little well, it's bit politics. unwise. It is I mean, politics. Rough old business. Absolutely. Rachel has taken it down, which suggests that she knows it but, was a bit provocative. Yes. I think that her follow-up statement, uh, which uh, I think Peter and Rachel would agree, because Peter said a trans woman is a trans woman. It's different to a woman, but it, I mean Peter yeah. actually said that very clearly there. So and um, that's what Rachel said in her statement. And therefore we can all agree it's good to get more women uh, in Parliament, and that presumably um, basically means uh, bio women as uh, or cis women as uh, as the jargon has it. Um, uh, so uh, we, you know we can all back we can all rally around that cause. I think the original the language was a little bit off colour, but you know. She should have done a little bit better. Yeah. What do you think? I'm not often speechless, but I am a little bit speechless on this one. Um, I think we all defend the right to love who you like and dress mm -hmm. how you like and uh, freedom of sexuality and freedom of... even a freedom of gender identity, but I think Pip is absolutely right that a lot of people will be looking at um, Melissa Poulton and saying, but that's a man in a wig. And I think, yeah. it's, I think it's very confusing and it feels a bit like gaslighting when we're being told that's a woman and we can see that it's a man. And mm. I think it, p perhaps Rachel McLean's original tweet was a little bit on the personal side, but as you say, that's politics. It's you know, politics. People attack each other all the time. Yeah, and, it's a, and uh, what, have we got to treat certain people differently as candidates in general elections because of their sensitivities? Why? why? It just makes you feel a bit crazy when you're being told that we all have to say this and, yeah. you, and you're, the, the evidence of your eyes is that's a man wearing a wig dressed as a woman. That's a man yes. dressed up as a woman. Yes. And I completely... That's fine. That's, people have done that for, yeah, yeah. for decades and I think it's fine for the public to make up their minds because, obviously, if you're putting yourself up for election, you're putting yeah. yourself up for the voters to decide about you. I mean, I'm not sure that Rachel would have, you know, criticised the, you know, the, 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 the somebody's glasses if they were, you know, one of her political opponents or, or, or attacked another kind but of what, personal but, characteristic. But, 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 but is the it, electorate can make their own But is it up. criticism, what she said? Is it criticism or was she just making an observation? Well, it's criticism in, in the sense... Uh, that Melissa would not identify as a man in a wig and therefore right. it's a kind of personal, uh, personal attack. But it's absolutely for voters to make up their own minds um, uh, as to who they want to vote for. I'd like to know what people in Bromsgrove think. If any mm. of you are watching or yeah. listening and you live in Bromsgrove, in Worcestershire, get in touch. I know Bromsgrove very well because I used to work for the Birmingham Mail many, many centuries ago and I've spent a lot of time working in the Bromsgrove office. It's very nice, very leafy. It's Sajid Javid is the outgoing MP there. Mm. And I suspect people will be bemused by this row in Bromsgrove. But does the fact it's nice and leafy... <laughs> well, no, I'm, no, I'm just describing it because, okay. you know, it's a suburb, it's a suburb yeah. of Birmingham, but it's a, yeah. it's a leafy, leafy suburb. Mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And it's very nice. But I, I, there? Have you been there? I filmed there, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think that people there will think? Well, look, I think we'll find out uh, when the election comes, because that's the ultimate test. Yes, of I suspect. Opinion. I suspect Melissa we'll won't be, be the Tory MP, won't be the Green MP absolutely. for Bromsgrove. Yes, I think that 